Hi my stamping friends, I'm Sandra at artypapercrafters.com, an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And today I thought I would do this little video because I know that there are quite a few people who have brought the stamp set called Painted Harvest that are having a few difficulties with stamping the sunflower and they feel that their image isn't as crisp as they expected it to be. But to explain why that is, this is actually a watercolour set, a watercolour stamp set. So you're not going to get that really crisp image of a flower that you would get normally if you was just stamping little flowers. Um, you would get a, a brilliant stamp. Um, a, a brilliant image should I say. Now this is what I have stamped and as you'll see when I turn it at different angles you do have a brilliant image here and that is achieved by practice. Now I have been practicing with this stamp set using various colours and it really is a lovely stamp set to work with when you know how to stamp with it. So I thought I would do a little video for you all today to explain how you can get a perfect image with the Painted Harvest stamp set. So let me begin. I have made my sunflowers as you would normally stamp and I've stamped them and you can see I've got a good image and this uses crushed curry and daffodil delight with early espresso in the middle and I've got a couple of those and then I've got ones here and these ones I have fussy cut with some scissors going around the edges but if you aren't into fussy cutting you can easily get use your layering circles framelits dies which are here these are the layering circles framelit dies and I used this um, two and a quarter inch um, scalloped circle because I think it gives a nicer effect and I cut that out using this size and you can see that that saves you having to do all that fussy cutting and you still get a brilliant little image which is exactly what I've done on my card, my little note card here. Now I've made up the, this little note card and these use the little note cards that Stampin' Up! sell. They come in a pack, you get 20, 20 um, cards which you fold in half and you get lovely, 20 lovely quality envelopes to go with it. So a brilliant, um, a brilliant pack if you want to make some little note cards quickly. You've got that, the measurements all cut for you. And you can see that I've stamped up the side, uh, the little leaves as well, for, for some extra detail on the inside of my card. And you get this lovely sentiment in this stamp set as well, which says your kindness means so much more than you will ever know. So this is a lovely stat set with, a, with three sentiments as well as your images and your leaf images. And that's the centre of your flower. Now you can stamp sunflowers or if you want to do pink ones like me, they can be summer flowers or they can be dahlias. It, and actually they do look a lot like dahlias. So your image can be stamped in any colour you like. It's just because the set's called Painted Harvest doesn't mean it's just for autumn. You can stamp whatever, whatever colours you want and that makes it quirky. And you can see that in the centre here I've uh, used Lemon Lime Twist which just makes that pink absolutely pop. And with the Lemon Lime Twist um, designer papers, the fresh florals as well that I've added on here, I think this makes for a pretty little card with the little leaves that uh, can be stamped out with the, with the uh, coordinating punch. So let me show you today how you get that perfect image using this stamp set. 
So on the blocks I've prepped up the two images and this is how I stamp it. So today I'm going to use Tangerine Tango and Pumpkin Pie. Um, I've got Peekaboo Peach out, I think that would be a good colour too, but today let's use Pumpkin Pie and Tangerine Tango and see what they look like, because that really, I, I just think it's so much fun stamping this out in so many different colours, because you can create so many effects and so many different um, looks, and so that's why I just had to show you how brilliant this set really is. Right then, we're going to open up our pumpkin pie ink and our tangerine tango. And I have a piece of scratch paper somewhere. Um, you can see I've already been using this to do some stamping. So I use the way I do it is I use the bigger the bigger image first and I use my lighter colour which in this case would be pumpkin pie and then I work out whether that's too dark a colour for my first image by stamping it off and then I stamp it off again on another piece of paper to see whether I want that lighter image or the darker one. And I'm going to go for that lighter image at the moment to see what that looks like. So in the pumpkin pie and stamp off once and stamp on again. And that's your first one. Now for your second image, we're going into the tangerine tango. And we're going to line up that centre with the centre of this so that it's more or less going over that same gap in the middle of the stamp there and that is stamped off there and you can see that that looks very very pretty done like that so you can do yours just like that if you like that look or you can do this you can go into the stamp your first stamp and stamp off and stamp on like that. You go into your tangerine tango and you line that up as before and stamp. And if you want if you want to add a little more detail, you go into your with using your first stamp again into the lighter color and stamp off. And then I rotate my stamp uh, uh, 180 degrees and line it up again over that hole and stamp and the reason that I do that is to get the um, petal that I stamped that way in the first time I've now moved that around and got um, it in a different place so you can decide whether you like the first image better or you like the second image better. So now we're going to do this in using the Peekaboo Peach. So I'm going to put the pumpkin pie away. And I think I did the, that in with the wrong ink. So now we're going to decide we want Peekaboo Peach. So Peekaboo Peach is our first colour. So I've cleaned my stamp off using my Stampin' Scrubby and we're going to stamp that down, the Peekaboo Peach. And we're not stamping it off first, we're just stamping that down. And then the second stamp goes into the Tangerine Tango and we're lining it up with that gap and we're stamping down and off. And now that looks different again, but pretty. And you can decide whether you want it stamped twice or three times, whichever look you prefer. Um, and I think that that gives a perfect image. And then, of course, you've got the centre. Um, let me get a block to put that on. 
put that on a block and we're going to open up our early espresso. Let me get rid of some of these pads. So into our early espresso, line that up with the center. Let's bring you down a bit more. Line that up with the center of your flower. And stamp in the center. That wasn't a very good image, was it? Mainly because I couldn't see over the top. So sorry if I get my head in the way. But that is better, you'll agree. And then you stamp your center. So that... Sorry about my head. That is how you get your centre. And that, to me, looks beautiful. Really beautiful. Now, what you can do if you want, you can stamp out your centres on a separate sheet of card. And then, if you want to cut that out, I get my three quarters of an inch circle punch and line that up and punch that out and then if you want to give a little dimension a bit more dimension to your center you can get a dimensional and just add that on to the center and so you can fussy cut them out or you can just stamp them straight onto a card um, I've forgotten where I've put my cards um, I'll just stop the video for a second while I go and get my other cards. Sorry, I'm back again. Sorry about that. I just went off to get my cards because I wanted you to, to show you them, what I did with them. Now, this was a masculine card that I made and you can see I popped, popped up the centre on a dimensional, cut my little leaves out and that's a little birthday card. So that's great. And um, I did the same on this one. I didn't pop the centre up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I added some Wink of Stella to give it a sheen, which looks really pretty. Love it. And stamped the leaves on the inside. Gorgeous. And then on this one, I stamped directly onto a piece of very vanilla cardstock um, the images. And then I popped them up on a, um, a glue dot and added Wink of Stella to the centres as well just to give um, a more cheerful look. But you can see that I've got some gorgeous images there um, made with this stamp set. So that's all I really wanted to show you today um, is how you can create many looks and many different cards uh, using this set. So I th hope that's been helpful to everyone who possibly is um, struggling with this stamp set. I know that there are a few who are. So that's all from me today. If you should need any supplies, please click, click, click on the down arrow description bar in the corner here. And until next time, I'll see you in a few more days. Bye for now. Bye.